Mustafa Badreddin rose through the ranks of the Lebanese armed group Hezbollah to become one of its top commanders. For more than 30 years, he apparently organized and took part in the group's military activities across a number of countries. The United States says he'd been in charge of Hezbollah's operations in Syria since the war began more than five years ago. Hezbollah fighters are supporting President Bashar al-Assad's army. They're joined on the ground by other militia from Iran, Iraq and Afghanistan. It's a significant loss to them. He's a unique personality, but they have quite a few other people. And I'll just give you one example, but there are others when the Treasury Department most recently, the U.S. Treasury Department most recently designated Mustafa Badreddin as a terrorist once again, in this case, uh, for his activities in Syria. They also designated several other individuals. Hezbollah says Badreddin was killed in an attack which targeted one of its bases near Damascus airport. It says it's investigating whether the explosion was caused by an airstrike, a missile or artillery. <laughs> Details surrounding Badreddin's death are still unclear but the important role he played in the group cannot be underestimated. In a statement, Hezbollah said he took part in most of the operations of the Islamic resistance since 1982. Badruddin was indicted by a UN tribunal in 2005 for the killing of former Lebanese Prime Minister Rafi Kariri. 20 years earlier, he'd been sentenced to death in Kuwait for his role in a series of bombings. He escaped from prison in 1990 after Iraq invaded Kuwait. Hezbollah says he also played an important role in leading its military operations against Israel. It's estimated that around 1,200 Hezbollah fighters have been killed in Syria, but Badreddin's death is the most significant blow for Hezbollah since the war there began. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.